men are trash, women are trash, toxic masculinity, toxic femininity. It's just all so ridiculous. All right, I've tried to record this video about three times now, and I feel like this is a big reason why dating is becoming less common, monogamy is becoming less common, marriages aren't happening as often. All of this, like all this is happening in modern dating, and it's a big reason as to why I wanna stay single. And I'm not gonna call out any single person or gender, I'm calling out everybody. And I do wanna make this video because I think it's important important for people to understand what's happening with dating and what it means to find a true lasting relationship and why that actually still exists, whether you think it or not. But first, let me give you a little background on my dating. So I've been in two serious relationships that spanned over several years. When I was 15, I was in my first relationship when I was in high school and it ended my freshman year in college. And then my second relationship ended about a year ago and we were together for three years. And in both of my relationships, I was the one who got dumped. So I wanted to improve my dating game. I wanted to understand why I was always the one who got dumped, why I was always the one doing something wrong. And like so many other teenage young men, I decided to go down a very dark hole. And this is something that I like to call the red pill rabbit hole. If you aren't familiar with the red pill community, I'm sure you probably are because the majority of people who watch this channel are watching red pill videos. I can see it in my analytics. The red pill community is basically a dating philosophy for men that says you should only focus on yourself and female nature is like females are hypergamous. They're always going to want more and they always think they can get more. Men are the actual prize in the relationship and basically just putting down women, even though they're not trying to really do that. That is how a lot of the content comes off. And so I was continuing to binge watch these videos and I was getting so salty and I felt like women were the problem. Women Women were the reason that dating is going to shit. Men are the ones that are trying to make things better again. And all it did was make me a miserable, miserable person because I was playing the victim. Now I'm gonna go over the red pill a little bit later in this video, but I wanna say that I don't think that everything the red pill preaches about is bullshit. But the type of people that those videos attract and the type of mindset that you subconsciously get from those videos is not healthy. So let's get into some of the reasons why I am choosing to stay single for right now and why I think modern dating is going the way that it's going. First off, we have the unrealistic expectations. This applies to both men and women, and it's all due to a few things. I mean, social media is a huge part of it, and also men watching dirty websites, and I'm sure that this affects women psychologically in some way as well. So for the men's side, you know, when we watch dirty websites, and when I used to, I certainly know that I viewed women completely different. I just viewed them as an object and I would only think about having you know what with them. And it also completely skewed up my version of what I thought women looked like because what you see on dirty websites is not at all what the majority of women look like in real life. And so I found when I was really addicted to this that I wasn't attracted to women who are actually very attractive. And so my expectations and my standards were so screwed up and how women actually act was also screwed up. And because of this, because so many more teenage men are now doing this and not seeing a problem with it, they view women in that way and it's not how reality is at all. On the opposite side, I also do think that a lot of women have unrealistic expectations when it comes to men, and this is also fueled by social media. One thing that I don't think women understand is how many more options that an attractive woman actually has as opposed to a man. You know, I feel like it's harder for people who get a lot of DMs and messages every day to stay committed in their current relationship because they know that they have so many possibly better options and so they're constantly being promiscuous constantly flirting with other people getting validated online and again this could probably apply to men too who are attractive and good looking but in most cases what i've seen is that women get this type of attention more than men do something i'm also very very passionate about is masculine and feminine energy and how that is playing a part in why people like don't understand how to act in relationships. You know, I made that video why men are weaker than ever and I still stand by the majority of what I said 
in that video. Decreasing testosterone levels in men is not good for any reason. Testosterone in men balances their hormones, increases their libido, they're less likely to get depressed. Testosterone is important and it is becoming decreased through, like I said in that video, comfortability. I think that dirty websites are playing a big role in it. Honestly, probably the things that we're eating, consuming, even in social media, consuming that way. And to me, it feels like men are understanding less and less of what it means to be a man in the relationship. And I feel like this was a huge proponent as to why I was always the one that got broken up with because I didn't understand my masculine energy and harness it to its maximum ability because every woman naturally wants that masculine energy to come out of that man. They want men who are purposeful and driven and are able to face adversity and I was not able to do any of that in my relationships really like I was still like a teenage boy and I was acting like one I like would not grow up and so I do think that this powerful energy is coming less and less often and the same with the feminine side feminine energy I believe that women think that feminine energy is not as powerful when it absolutely is and is just as powerful as masculine energy and so we have men who are less masculine and women who are less feminine and so it's kind of just like this meshing of energy it's like one singular energy and people are so confused as to how they're supposed to act or how the relationship is supposed to go and it gets up. These two opposing energies within a relationship are important and I'm not saying that men have to always take on the masculine energy role because they can take on the feminine energy role but that means that the woman has to take on a more masculine energy role. These two things, these need to be opposing sides instead of just like this one conglomerate that they are now that I feel like they are. And I'm not saying oh we got to get back to the traditional masculinity and do all the things that men used to do but having masculine energy and having feminine energy is important and all of these dating philosophies these new dating philosophies create a lot of doubt within people the red pill men going their own way mg tau the way feminism talks about how women don't need men anymore and i understand at their core what these philosophies are trying to teach is that things are going wrong but they think they're contributing to helping the problem when they usually are the problem like if you go to any red pill video and you go to the comments all you're gonna see is a bunch of broken insecure men who hate women and mostly teenage dudes these are the guys that are gonna come up and not want to be in relationships and relationships are going to become more and more scarce but even still i'm going to have some teenage guy in my comments like oh you don't understand red pill women are hypergamous you can't trust women uh men are the prize blah 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 and for those people two things have either happened here one you dated a woman and you got your heart broken and now you need validation that it wasn't your fault or two you're a teenage boy with zero dating experience and you're trying to tell me what dating and what women are actually like when all you've done is watch red pill videos and it's the same exact thing with the men are trash narrative and a lot of the reason why women become feminists real feminists fight for equality and the fake ones are the ones that are insecure have had their heart broken by men and now say men are trash men are the reason that everything's going to shit. it's men's fault like i know i'm getting kind of mad at this but it is it's frustrating to see such a divide between men and women now when they don't under when both of us don't understand that we're both causing some sort of problems and then we have men and women who try to get back into relationships and they wonder why they keep attracting these shitty people it's because you're broken you're watching the red pill videos or you're like trying to be a feminist that isn't actually a feminist because you are insecure and you are broken and you don't actually love yourself and until people wake up and understand that this is happening i i want to stay single pretty much but i just don't think that i will forever because here is what i want you to take away from this video enough ranting right you know i've said enough about this topic it's that there are still amazing men and women out there you are way too heavily influenced by what these people are telling you on the internet or terrible negative stories that are happening happening in the news that it's primed that way because people are attracted to drama and negativity there's still so many amazing men and women out there albeit i do feel like it's more 
rare nowadays because people are way too influenced by what they see on the media, but it's still possible. And I don't think that you should be scared to get into a relationship if you've never been in a relationship before. I have never learned more about what love really is and what it means to be in a dedicated relationship and how to keep a partner happy and how to build with someone more than being in an actual relationship. Relationships are where I learned the most about myself, where I learned how to take care of someone and become selfless. These are important. To find a really good relationship, you gotta get through a couple ones and I do understand that now I'll probably my next relationship will be like much much better than my previous two but I'm wary now I'm much much more wary and I'm waiting for someone who understands this as I understand it and someone who wants to build with me and the mutual goal of the relationship is growth so like I'm kind of encouraging young men and women to get their heart broken a couple times because I have never learned more from something and because Become more of a better person through something than getting my heart broken honestly I know that's scary and probably I don't know that's probably bad advice but I do think that you should put yourself out there and really experience what a relationship is like before you try to consume all this crap about what you've heard relationships are like these people do exist yes and just be wary of it and stop playing the victim please so many victims in this society men are trash women are trash toxic masculinity, toxic femininity. It's just all so ridiculous. There is no toxic masculinity and there is no toxic femininity. There's just shitty broken men and there's shitty broken women, plain and simple. And by continuing to complain about men or women, you're just contributing to the problem. And so because most people are too influenced by that and don't understand masculine and feminine energy, most people are not worth getting in a relationship for. And so I would really like you to stop being so influenced by a certain bubble, the red pill bubble, the feminism bubble, and actually go out there and experience what dating is like. More than one person or two people that broke your heart. Heal from that, genuinely heal from that, and don't hide within a community that promotes against the opposite sex. Just actually grow from this experience and learn from it, and then you will attract better relationships in the future. Thank you to all the patrons on this channel on Patreon. This is a platform where I'm putting out exclusive videos, blog posts, and podcasts that you can't find on YouTube or anywhere else. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description, patreon.com slash Cole Hastings. And thank you so much for watching this video and uh, my take on all of this right now. If you disagree with me, okay. If you agree with me, okay also. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm heading out. Have a good rest of your day or night.